So I finally got around to playing some Baron Mill, and uh, it's not just Baron Zemo in this deck. I've also got Baron Mordo in here, because although he doesn't steal a card from your opponent's deck, quite as literally as like Baron Zemo or Yondu or Gladiator, sometimes it feels that way, right? If you give them, you know, one cost card that now costs six, that basically deleted the card from the game because of course they're not gonna spend six playing, you know, some one cost card or whatever. So uh, I put in both the Barons, Baron Zemo, Baron Mordo, and I also made this deck kind of as greedy as I could with stuff like Grandmaster, and I've even got Black Bolt in here as well. It's like, not only do you have no cards in deck, now you're losing stuff in hand as well. And uh, just wanted to make the like greediest, most mill focused deck I could. Now I will tell you right now, this is not like the best way to do this. There were some pretty standardized lists pretty fast. You've I'm sure seen them with like Iceman and uh, Dr. Octopus and stuff in the mix. Uh, this was my little twist with just a little bit of extra greed and fun in the mix with that Grandmaster trying to delete cards as effectively and as early as I could. I've got things like Dr. Doom in here just to lay down a nice base of power late in the game because often you're kind of done with your shenanigans early. You just need a little bit of a boost to your numbers to win alongside some of your big stuff you've played. In the mid game, this can just help seal the deal. And I actually did have um, a pretty nice little run with this, but I will say it was bolstered a little extra because as I sat down to play this today, the uh, hot location or featured location or whatever these are called now, hot location happened to be Kamertaj, which wasn't planned, but was quite fortuitous because of course, uh, doubling up all those crazy uh, on reveals for your Yondus and your Cables and your Baron Zemos can make this deck even sillier. So. Uh, a bit of a meme build in the first place, uh, you know, at least a, a fun focused build that was just magnified times a million with a hot location. So again, I don't really recommend you play this necessarily. It's super fun, but uh, mostly just for fun. And uh, at least that is going to make a very nice video, if nothing else. Yondu, we could wait to see if uh, Kamertage pops up since it didn't hit it on one, but... I also think it's totally fine to just rip him now. Oh no, I take it back. I, I want it back. This cable's good, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, so cable's certainly gonna rip through a big chunk of their deck here. Uh, if we get a uh, Grandmaster, I might just play that on Yondu. If we get Baron Zemo, I'll just play it on Kamertage. It's Maximus instead. Um, let's do this for now. Beast on Cable, uh, still gonna be worth it next turn because they'll have two cards in deck. So Cable will steal their two remaining cards. And we have a magic game, so definitely gonna be light on time. Now, they do still potentially you know, have like big scary stuff like Red Hulks and everything. This is by no means solved. This Gladiator is 100% safe, we know. Cyclops might be good soon-ish, but maybe not quite yet. We have Doctor Doom as a payoff here too. Shang-Chi, that's really nice because they might have a big Hulk or something we want to kill. Kyera too, perfect perfect pair for the Shang-Chi, yeah? So the opponent has four cards in hand. One's gonna get pulled here. Let's just maybe play this Cyclops and kind of farm it a little bit. It's, it's interesting to say though too that we do have Dr. Doom, so I could kind of leave spaces here. I don't know if we're actually going to want a Dr. Doom. Well, maybe for that reason, Cyclops goes here. They also might be encouraged to play to Hope, but probably not. I do want to leave space for a, uh, a, a Shang-Chi everywhere as well, though. So I don't know. Let's just go 2-2-2. Two, two, two. That's kind of an easy solution. So, okay, that's at least a Shang-Chi target. Um, hopefully we get a slightly bigger one here. Nope, we did hit the Doom, which I guess that's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's just 15 free power. I am kind of out of space though. Two cards in hand. I think they're gonna play one of them now and then play the Hulk. So this, if they decide to hold, this Black Bolt will just remove both their cards. If they don't hold, then we'll have a Shang-Chi to kill whatever thing probably or, or be fine, you know. We'll know they only have one card and we'll be ahead in three spots effectively. Yeah, the Red Hulk's gone. Okay, dude, let's go. <laughs> And now we just Shang-Chi the Hulk. Oh, it's delightful, dude. Uh, well, not that we would have to. Obviously, they know the game is over, but amazing. Yeah, every last card gone. This this is really quite cruel. Sweet. 
mother of god <laughs> the opponent is going to have no cards i hope i don't accidentally hit zemo because zemo is not gonna be good their deck is already empty don't give me the zemo oh bro um so zemo actually will still have one card if i go right now they have five in deck oh actually so that'll put them to three they'll draw one zemo could could rip all the remaining cards i mean i don't have to zemo right but it seems nice well whatever the case let's just do this we're still gonna get some resources regardless right that's nice to know we're gonna have some cards to play Polaris and hobgoblin whoa okay Polaris, Hobgoblin, Magic, and Ghost Spider. Honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, this is how we delete the rest of their deck. I think I'm just going to say forget the Zemo. They're going to pass this turn. They have five cards in hand to beat me with. We'll just skip turn four, I guess. Can I still win if I skip turn four? Maybe, I don't know. Let's see what we, we deleted that ghost spider who went back in and we steal Galactus. Dr. Octopus, okay. That's interesting. That basically locks them, like they're just out of the game as soon as I play that, right? With a seven turn game, I feel like I can just maybe even pass turn six. Maybe it just maybe it's fine to play Doc on five. I just want to make sure that they don't. I mean, I, I want to get well between Collapse Mind and Convertage. There will definitely be. Oh, interesting, interesting. I <laughs> whoopsie. I don't know if that's a whoopsie or not. It destroys all rocks. It doesn't say destroy your rocks here. It says destroy your rocks. <laughs> oh no oh my god that's amazing this is very funny okay convertage on one's pretty insane i just don't have what i need i mean zemo's pretty cool either way i guess maybe we just or not Z well yeah zemo I, I got too many barons i'm getting confused here bro Baron Mordo gives them hopefully two kind of like gross unplayable cards and then maybe we Zemo Problem is Zemo fills that up and I may want to play a Dr. Doom there Maybe we just play one Mordo for now then we go Zemo next turn That's actually fine. Uh, they're basically gonna be out of cards anyway, so Not not literally but Basically basically uh, ooh, Zemo Grandmaster that may not work depending on how many on reveals I get, but usually I don't get two on reveals here, do I? They may also have their own Zemo, so let's see what happens. Cable, okay. That's going off twice. Their deck is gone. They're gone. It's over. <laughs> I mean, they can still win, but they're dead. Oh, nice. <laughs> they don't get the benefit now if this is a Zemo that they're playing. They only get one card. I think this might be their Zemo. Yeah, they only get one card, which is Beast, which does let them Zemo again, I guess, into a cable. It's kind of weird. Kind of strange, right? I have two cards in deck. They have seven in hand. I mean, I think this is just sort of a power game right now, but Doc Ock could, could create opportunity. I don't know if that's something I want or not. They're going to get a Maximus here, which is big, but doesn't actually do anything for me course the um the asgard also rather irrelevant for everyone since this is a seven turn game i think doc ock is is nuts we'll just have time to stack up basically they're just out of cards this is it this is all their cards they have zero on zero here shadow king absorbing man on baron zemo does nothing for multiple reasons <laughs> and sh of course shang chi but yeah this should be okay i think um they're they're literally just out of cards as soon as i play dr doom the game is just over so gg they have zero and zero remaining cool that's it good game oh and i retreated yeah 
I'm not running uh, Doc Ock in my list. Number one, because it's like everybody's kind of been doing it. So I was like, eh, you know, let's do something a little different, you know. Uh, but number two, it seemed less good in a um, comertage world for whatever reason. I don't know. I wanted to focus on, on the actual just like straight up mill and, and maybe Black Bolt instead. It does demand you have a little bit more power too to match it sometimes, which can be tough. Okay. Yeah, we don't need comertage. We got the... the uh, OG greed. I know you might be thinking like, hey, why not Wong, Regis? Why not Wong in this deck for even more, uh, you know, on reveal shenanigans? Whoa, capture card. And I just think it's too late, right? It just comes down too late. It's like kind of cool with Black Bolt. I'll acknowledge that. That's pretty fun. But beyond that, I, I fear it's just too late. I do like this Yandu Baron Zemo mid with a beast though. That's pretty cool. Especially if I could fill on turn four with like a Cable or Mordo. Silt gone, okay. This was basically, you know, the greedy list. I actually built this well before Comertage became the featured location this week. And, um, you know, I decided it needed this much greed. As you look at Comertage, you're probably like, oh, it actually didn't really maybe need to be this greedy. Because uh, now this is the hot location or whatever. So, you know, so be it. Oh, hope. That's cool. I think we're just gonna go Gladiator though. This deck usually runs really small stuff. They do sometimes have Vision. Oh, maybe this is fine though. No, never mind. This is their last two cards. So the Zemo actually does kind of get murdered here, but well, yeah, maybe it's just Grandmaster then. Maybe it's just like Black Bolt Grandmaster. Although no, that's too much mana. That's that's six energy. No, it won't matter to play the Grandmaster. I mean, maybe it's just literally beast for two power, then that's also fine. Completely logical decision here. So this is their last two cards in deck. They have three cards in hand. Spider-Man and red freaking Hulk. Let's go. So can they win this game with three cards in hand? Or perhaps, perhaps even fewer. Maybe with no cards in hand. <laughs> I actually don't have... A super strong finish. Uh, yeah, they have no cards in hand. Just, just this. This is their last card. Whatever this is, better carry them to victory. It is pretty good. It is pretty good, but it doesn't beat this Red Hulk, right? We can actually just play Red Hulk here. We know, we know it's gonna go to 19. The Vision can't beat this. Vision can win left, but that's it. Yeah, that's that's all. Red Hulk stolen does the does the dirty work. Cool, per actually kind of perfect game. The Convertage did help just a little bit with that cable, <sighs> but otherwise exactly what this is all about, right? Just completely. Oh, actually the Convertage helped the ton with a Black Bolt. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Right? We we got rid of the Enchantress and Jeff, which would have given them a turn six play. I don't. It may still not have been enough to be honest. Did have some flexibility, but. All right, beast on two with nothing to do. Seriously, can we hit something? Something good here. Uh, cable's good. Yeah, we like cable. We'll go cable right in case there's either Comertage or Grandmaster lines that matter. Domino. What in the heck is this? An Agatha deck? Wow, what a great roll. Okay. Oh my God. Uh. Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe one here and then the next one here because then it'll have bigger targets, right? It should still line up from a deck size standpoint. Oh, sure. That's not a bad card. We like Nebulous. It's actually beast as well, dude. Oh my god. So this pulls two, which doesn't actually get everything out of their deck, but you know, close enough. Let's see how big these are, though, is my fear. If it's not big enough, we might just lose this spot. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing, dude. Oh, what the heck? The leader's not even going to connect. Eliath deleted, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, bro. They got the Doctor Doom Comertage hit, though. Wow. That's a problem, because I need to now be able to beat 20 everywhere. I'm only going to have, like, 10 and 10. Maybe we play magic to extend the game a little bit here. They still have five cards in hand, though. It's like... Uh, I play magic. I'm, I've got even less time to, like, get this all going. I almost need to B 
beast their leader beast the leader but i can't play dr doom a turn early anyway so that doesn't really matter uh the reason i'm thinking about beast here is just to create space so i can beat like 18 you know oh bro no not like this dude no can't now right there's just no way to get there this is just 20 actually that could surprise them and get there because we think they're gonna play doom here so they're at 18 Oh, but I'm only 18 because of vision, right? What am I actually at? 8, 10, 15. <sighs> so I kind of need the vision there. Maybe Mordo goes here and Gladiator goes here. Then you have 11, 13. It's 18, though, which is still just a tie. If I move cable here like this, is that enough? 5 and... It's 13 and 5 is only 18. No, that doesn't even make sense. Um, I, I think this is the best way to play for a tie. Oh, bro. Now I can't even tie. Wait, they're not playing another Dr. Doom, though? Hold up. Wait, what? I'm losing here anyway, right? So we don't need the vision here anymore. 15 goes to 20. Well, they don't have Dr. Doom again, though. I don't know, bro. I don't even know. Let's just see, I guess. Is this a Lyoth? Oh, no, it's the Dr. Doom. I think we're fine. Yeah, we calculated it out. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. We did it, dudes. We got there. This game, dude. What a weird, spicy way to play this out. Oh, my God. Am I a genius or just like stupid? <laughs> Is this one of those I won because I'm stupid or a genius? I don't know. I don't know. This loss to like pivots away to like, you know, they played like Red Hulk or something. Maybe they got me, but it's funny. Each one of these is eight and two and five and five. It's funny. I, I don't know, man. The Negasonic threw a wrinkle in things, but I figured it out anyway. Maybe, I, 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 I don't know. Those, that feels like one of those where I went brain dead and just kind of <laughs> just... I woke up and then the numbers the numbers were there, so I can't take any credit. Everybody's playing really slow tonight, man. I uh I'm thinking I'm finding out Sundays are not a fun day to play Marvel Snap so much. Nebula and Ironheart. Okay. Seems like maybe they got some some stuff cooking with on reveals. Really not excited to play this Maximus yet, because it might give them too much good stuff. I'm actually not even sure I really like Maximus in this deck anymore. We could probably greed it up even more. I think I had a Ronin in here when I started. That's why the Maximus was in here. I mean, I like that he's cheap power. And I mean, it's nice that once their deck is empty, he's like safe cheap power, you know? So it's not like he's illogical. I'm not saying he makes no sense. I just don't know if he makes as much sense. So if we go for Gladiator now... I don't know. I actually kind of like Cable now. I, I can still play Magic... Cable now leaves them with two. Gladiator could finish off the remaining card after that. I don't know. I just want to get some resources. I feel like I don't have a lot to do right now. And maybe Curve Fill in particular would be nice. Oh my god, the Wong and another Magic. So this is like Hazmat stuff, right? They've clearly got Hazmat. Only one card in deck here, so this doesn't have to go left. Let's take their last card. Maybe it's the hazmat. Maybe that's not good. I don't know. They've got a Luke Cage and I don't, so that's a bit of a problem. They have seven cards in hand. Hazmat? Sunspot. Oh, they played the hazmat. Okay, that's scary, dude. I don't like that at all. That's not good. <laughs> uh... Maybe we just lose priority and play into Dr. Doom so this Odin doesn't destroy us. Oh, this is this is not good. Oh, that's too much power, dude. I'm only going to 17. 
Yeah, I think we're cooked, man. I think we're cooked. Odin just puts them at 11 here. And, you know, just a bunch of tigers. There's just no way. They're actually built for real on reveal plays, which is just nuts right now. Okay, uh, yeah, ham cable's kind of cool. I mean, I really just want to get the Abbey hit. I'm not that worried about uh, the ham here necessarily. It doesn't hurt, though. Good card. Oh my god! Ham v. Ham! Orca? Excuse me, Orca and Ham together? Now I'm stunned. All right, Cable here is certainly the hit. Oh my God, Yondu Beast next turn is absolutely gross. I don't even know if I need it though, because Convertage, it's like the Beast is in here really for the game where they don't have Convertage. Because when Convertage is up, you're basically just deleting the whole deck anyway. By the time you get to play everything, they draw what few remaining cards they might have had, you know? So for instance, right now they have three in hand. So this, this, this Yondu is already going to wipe it out. Um, what did I hit by the way? I totally zoned out. I forgot what I hit. Oh my god, I don't even know what I hit off the off the ham. They'll draw that that last remaining card, so I might as well just beast the ham here. Uh, just just to re ham, you know, in case they play their ham. Swarm gone, absorbing man gone. Is this like some kind of weird? I don't know, like discard gambit combo y thing. Well, I guess I hit their red Hulk. I didn't even see it. Proxim is a good hit for them though. But they only have three cards total remaining. Perhaps I can ham one of those. I don't have a black bolt, so. Uh, Wong Doom could be cool, although of course we also have Comrade so I don't even know if it matters. <sighs> Probably just better off. Well, I can play these both next turn, but then I might miss like Zemo. I don't know, I'm just gonna play some power. It, I, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Silver Samurai, okay. Actually, that's totally fine. They've got a Wolverine that's hitting, but they are out of cards. They have literally no cards left. That was their last remaining card. <laughs> I've never had a spider ham completely miss, especially on turn four. So now I just have to beat. Yeah, I can say, what do they, they think I'm not gonna get there in three turns, bro? Oh my God, their, their, their hand and deck like played perfectly to this <laughs> game plan. <laughs> Cause they emptied their self of cards and had nothing remaining. That is amazing. Um, okay. Yeah, this, this might give us some, uh, some misses on Comertage, but it's okay. Hawkeye, so maybe kind of bouncy stuff here. This might be the like OG bounce mill deck. Uh, that's something we're good at thanks to Dr. Doom, yeah? Ours is not the OG uh, bouncy mill. This is, you know, we're just mill. M greed. Mill greed. Maximum greed. Enchantress, that doesn't really help much. I don't guess I've seen Enchantress much in that list though. Maybe something a little wacky going on here. Dr. Doom's really good at winning Death's Domain. We trust this Zemo? Their deck's got a lot of small stuff. I don't necessarily love this Zemo. Magic any good for us? They still have four cards in deck, so I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe we get, uh, I don't know, what's cool. Mordo probably gives them a pretty dead card. We would expect them to have a lot of small stuff that's now unplayable. <gasps> the dream. <gasps> the dream. Oh no, that hits Ham, not Zemo again, of course. Oh man. Oh man, if only, <laughs> if only we had the like uber full um, assortment. Yeah, I, I guess maybe we play Black Bolt, but it does make a Doctor Doom potentially a lot worse. I just don't think I want this game extending any further, right? Might be big. Oh, their deck is empty. It's not big. Just kidding. It's very small. Oh, that's big though. But Doom beats that because they that can't beat us in two spots, right? Doom should beat that because I think we'll be ahead here pretty much always. Uh oh, Dark Hawk is big though. Dang, dude. I don't know. We're still ahead though, so Doom covers left and mid, which means if they play just Hulk, we're fine because they can flip right and maybe play for a tiebreaker, but we'll just Doom. 
Uh, if they doom, we're actually still fine as well because we have a seven point lead right, so that would be fine. The doom here just basically covers, which is nice. Yeah, th this is literally why doom is in this deck, just to give this deck points. You know, it's like all shenanigans. And you know, you're getting points, you know, Gladiator's big, Zemo's big. It's not like you're not getting any points. It just sometimes needs that little oomph, you know, a little extra boost covers across the field. That can make a big difference, I think. <sighs> okay, Ham, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit something very big. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be spicy. Spicy hit, Loki! Jeff, okay. <laughs> not big nor spicy, but fun anyway. Might make a difference. Oh, uh, it's just a 2-5. No, they don't care. They're just, they're not mad at all. They're going to play their 2-5 right now, though. So I wonder if I can actually get away with a beast here. Beast still has a lot of upside later, so probably not. But I hate that uh, my, my gladiator's actually exposed to Shang-Chi. This is kind of annoying. Normally, he's totally safe. Odin. Oh, Odin, Dr. Doom's a fun line. We have Limbo. Are we worried at all about the opponent turning off Limbo? I can play another one if we are. Angela's a great hit. Okay. Cool. No Angela threat anymore. So this deletes two cards, which leaves them at two, which means they draw one next turn. And then by the time I played Beast and bounced, it wouldn't really help. So I, in other words, I don't actually need to think too much about stacking up uh, into one like beast location here or whatever. Snow guard's a good burn, okay. I don't have a lot of the like Loki type generating things. I would expect maybe a Loki. I'm not even sure they're Loki actually. Maybe it's just like shield, but Quinjet is making me think about that. Snow guard's making me think about that, right? So a few different cards are giving us that implication. Uh, Grandmaster, if we wanted to hit Gladiator, could burn their final threat, final card in deck. Then we start using Black Bolt. Oh, actually, too, though, if we went Black Bolt into Odin this turn, that's a pretty cool line as well. Which we would like better with Pig than the cards in mid, because they're they're not gonna they're not gonna make sense. Pig will hit again, right? Because we've already seen the Pig played. Shadow King gone. Okay, it's not nothing. Shauna. That's the randomly generated one, eh? Really full left now. But that does kind of help their Elsa too, I guess. So they have four cards in hand, one of which is Kitty Pride. This never hits the Kitty Pride, but you know, we transform a card and discard a card. Hopefully they're not the same card. Loki transformed. Okay, I'm surprised that didn't get played. And then that... That discarded the... Was that the... Oh my god, I actually cursed myself. I talked about it. Well, we can't win, can we? Because that's just too much power flip. Uh... No, this is... I can only add nine power, right? We know Kitty's too big, so... What a late snap, man. You gotta snap on that Shang-Chi guy. Then you're gonna snap on Moat Me? Oh yeah, this is spicy hands. All uh, right. Mordo 2 could be cool. Let's see, we deleted their blade. Okay, so maybe some hella discard stuff, maybe regular discard stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, boy, we could really try to greed this on uh, Comertage. If it's not Comertage, I'm kind of stuck. Maybe we put Mordo here. Maybe we put Mordo here. We steal a Colleen Wing. Okay, that's a crazy looking skin. I don't know if I really like that variant that much. About it looks weird with a parallax with a 3D. I'm not sure I loved it as much. All right, mm, Grandmaster into Gladiator. Sure, I think that order is actually better technically, like this. Still deleting a lot of their deck, hopefully. APOC getting deleted by Gladiator. That is actually sick. I haven't done that since the nerf. That's pretty cool. Dracula. Not great for us, but glad they don't have it, right? That's nice. Okay, Modok discarded and Proxima discarded. So they have four cards left total. Which is still... That's not nothing, you know? Mid in particular is, I think, pretty hard for me to win is the downside here. 
it's just really big i, I don't have any big car i mean my biggest dude is black bolt which does technically flip that but only barely i'm gonna sit on these for a minute i i do think ham is worth playing the oh opponents just said they're done dude no this deck does that a lot people are like no man i have nothing left this is garbage okay um yeah we like cable better than mordo probably just have some fun with it cable into zemo into beast could be spicy can we get a uh camertage here <laughs> god forbid so evil oh apoc uh right i don't think the discord deck's gonna be happy to know that happens if they find out uh yeah let's go beast next turn right maybe we don't want to necessarily bounce whatever that is but i like bouncing the zemo a lot he's still really cheap with elysium in particular so it'll be okay i mean it can't be it's usually a smaller card you know very unlikely to be big at this stage of the game yeah, that's totally fine to bounce. Dracula, but no APOC for them. So that seems like it's gonna be a challenging card for them to get solved. Uh, actually, we wanna hold this Maximus so that Zemo has a target next turn. Weirdly enough, Cable will not have a target. This deck is so, it's actually, this deck is actually too greedy. I mean, it's, it, it, it's true that we hit like multiple good pieces, you know, we hit a Mordo and Wait, did I play the Mordo this turn? Oh God, did I just play the Mordo this turn? Because if so, I don't remember when. No, no, this is already counting its power. It was played last turn. Okay, I was gonna say if I played the Mordo this turn, there's not actually gonna be any cards left for um for the Zemo. Let's get spooky, dude. I, I forgot about Gladiator. There are no cards left. Wait, he's the opponent. Oh no, they hit Helicarrier. Oh, dude, Helicarrier is so good. That's sad, dude. Um, I, my my Zemo's dead though. They're gonna draw the final card here, of course. Oh, bro, they're still discarding a lot of stuff right now, though. We got a bonus Wolverine, though. Are you kidding me with this? So he put us three cards to work with, but they have a monster lead, man. A monster lead. It's 13 16 oh i don't feel good about this dude they're like so far ahead and those could certainly be big cards too and i don't have a black bolt so there's no way for me to shut that down i mean i think like just an apoc here and, and maybe uh a... oh where was magic last turn i really needed that Are they gonna play an infinite, bro? They passed, bro. Bro, <laughs> do not tell me they're playing an infinite right now, dude. What is this? This is actually only four and four, which is only eight. It's just not enough. This Morbius is doing work. Not to mention who knows what this Dracula is gonna do. Bro, I think they're about to play an infinite mid. I'm not even joking. I think they're about to play an infinite mid and I'm about to lose. This is unbelievable, dude actually insane helicarrier is like the ultimate counter to us well it's not an infinite i guess how big is it <gasps> is that oh my god i think we tie it's a tiebreaker game do i win the tiebreaker definitely right no wait hold up no it's an actual tie <laughs> are you serious <laughs> no 